hello my dear students today i am going to make a video on group number and period number generally this is also an important model question from classification of elements there are two model questions in one model you will be given atomic number then you have to find out group number or period number in another model question you will be given some electronic configuration then from the given electronic configuration we have to find group and period number so let's talk about both the cases how to calculate group number and period number there are two cases already i told you first i am going to teach case one suppose we are given electronic configuration when electronic configuration is given is given then how to find out group number to calculate group number actually we know from electronic configuration we can understand the nature of block nature of the element i mean to which block that element belongs so when we are given the configuration uh, of s block element we know in s block only two groups are there group 1 and group 2 okay so how to calculate group number it is simply number of valence electrons number of valence electrons we know generally s block elements have valence electronic configuration of ns1 or ns2 group number 1 or 2 when it comes to p block in case of p block it should be 12 plus number of electrons in p subshell number of electrons in p subshell we know in p subshell np12 np6 that varies 1 to 6 six groups are there and when it comes to d block simply number of electrons in ns subshell plus that in n minus 1 d subshell we know what is n actually in d block elements final electron or a differentiating electron enters penultimate d subshell this is penultimate this is valence shell we also know that after filling n s in the valence shell only electron enters this n minus 1 d that is penultimate d shell so d subshell so that's why this is actually the trick to find number or group number there is simply number of electrons in ns that is valence shell and penultimate shell d electrons f block elements no need to confuse we know all f block elements belong to group 3 that is fix all f block elements so let's talk about some questions these are some questions for you and how to solve these questions and we have period number as well period number is the highest principal quantum number principal quantum number is orbit number so in the given electronic configuration you can see uh, the highest principal quantum number there should be no confusion there okay you can identify which is bigger value which is small value so this is your given configuration so from this given configuration how to find group and period number let's talk about this it is a d block element it is visible after completion of 4s the electron enters 3d and 3d is partially filled that is clear that it is a d block element in d block element how to find what is the trick number of electrons in ns and number of electrons in n minus 1d so ns two electrons are there plus n minus 1d seven electrons are there valence shell penultimate shell n value is 4 n minus 1 is 3 2 plus 7 is 9 the group number is 9 and what about period number you see this is 3 this is 4 which is higher value this one so highest principal quantum number so it belongs to fourth period got my point fourth period let's talk about this uh, exceptional configuration in fact we all know about this copper atomic number 29 electron uh, migration takes place from 4s subshell to 3d subshell for getting completely filled stable configuration so it is also d block element you know already very basic topic from structure of atom in s one electron d 10 electrons so 11 group number is 11 group number is 11 and what is the period number it is 3 it is 4 4 is the highest number so again it belongs to fourth period well this is another 
गुड क्वेश्चन इन फैक्ट बिकॉज आफ्टर आर गॉन थ्री डी टेन फोर एस टू फोर पे थ्री इसी वी नो फोर एस आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ फोर एस थ्री डी इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्स थ्री डी थ्री डी ऑल्सो कंप्लीटली फिल्ड देन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्स फोर पे एज पर एनर्जी ऑर्डर सो इट इज कंप्लीटली फिल्ड इट इज कंप्लीटली फिल्ड एंड लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्स फोर पी सबशन मीन्स फाइनल इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटर्ड फोर पी इट इज अ पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट so for p block element what is the group number the trick is very easy 12 plus number of electrons in p subshell that is 3 so 12 plus 3 15 it is the group number and again you see highest quantum number is 4 principal quantum number it also belongs to fourth period let's talk about fourth example example number 4 we are given this and uh, after 6s electron this is it is completely filled electron is present in 4f so 4f4 that is partially filled so anybody can understand that that is an f block element so all f block elements belong to group number 3 as i told you so no need to find group number for f block elements group number is 3 and period number it is 4 it is 6 principal quantum number value highest value you see that is 6 so it belongs to sixth period okay so this is the information from case 1 when we are given electronic configuration and when we are given atomic number then how to find group and period number let's talk about that 3 to 4 times this model question already uh, asked in competitive examinations je main mm, apmt okay some afmc uh, some state board entrance exam also but now there is no state board pmt and uh, in coming days all over india only one je exam um, might be there the more chances are there okay so anyway now our discussion is related to group number and period number now let us talk about case 2 what is case 2 when atomic number is given atomic number is given then how to calculate group number for group number first you, you have to see what is the given atomic number what is the given atomic number generally 57 to 71 and 89 to 103 in fact we know that 58 to 71 90 to 103 are f block elements 14 plus 14 including 28 f block elements 57 is lanthanum and 89 is actinium these two elements also belong to group number 3 Group three, no need to confuse. Okay, fifty-seven to seventy-one, eighty-nine to one zero three. Group three fix. Sir, if atomic number is given between one zero four to one one eight, if you are given any atomic number in this range, then group number is always equal to last two digits of the given atomic. number okay given atomic number atomic number is your question from the given atomic number you can simply uh, write the group number like i am taking some examples you are given 114 117 these two questions have been asked in previous competitive exams what are the last two digits 1 and 4 so group number is 4 group number is this 14th group and 1 and 7 means it is 17th group okay 14th group and 17th group so 104 to 118 this is the shortcut and these elements all belong to group number 3 if any other atomic number is given then you have to use the shortcut that is group number is equal to 18 plus given atomic number given atomic number minus atomic number of next atomic number of next noble gas actually when 
we are given uh, atomic number and we are asked to find period number or group number it is very essential to memorize atomic numbers of noble gases that is important in fact that you can easily uh, memorize 0 xenon radon you know its atomic number is 2 10 18 8 8 difference na magic numbers 18 plus 18 36 plus 18 54 plus 18 oh, sorry 32 86 two times 8 difference two times 18th difference then you go for 32 difference next atomic number 118 we know that is to be discovered yet so these are atomic numbers of noble gases because uh, students you see first at least some minimum knowledge is required regarding atomic numbers of elements that minimum knowledge is up to atomic number 36 you have to study all the elements group wise at least up to 36 you have to know all the elements their atomic numbers electronic configurations so you can uh, re memorize remaining three elements easily okay noble gases atomic numbers so this is the actual trick i am taking one example actually here one more point is there if group number if group number comes out to be negative then take 32 instead of instead of 80 you are given any atomic number you have used this formula after uh, applying in this formula you got negative group number that is not practically possible so if you get negative group number then instead of 18 you take 32 it is uh, not a time taking process okay by solving uh, number of questions multiple number of questions you can easily solve this question in less than 40 seconds let's take one example this example is also uh asked in one of the competitive examinations atomic number 56 okay uh, group number asked how to calculate group number already you know group number is equal to 18 plus given atomic number minus atomic number of next noble gas we know what are the atomic numbers of noble gases 8 18 36 54 54 after 54 direct 86 is there so 86 the value is coming negative okay it is negative negative means what is the next trick if it is negative then take 32 instead of 18 minus 30 is coming group number is 2 okay so this is very simple trick but uh, 57 to 71 89 to 103 those numbers okay you have to memorize actually no need to memorize separately by studying number of times by attempting uh, number of uh, examinations automatically uh, that will be memorized in your brain but these tricks you have to practice now let's talk about calculation of period number when we are given atomic number then how to calculate period number it is straight away easy in fact the period number how to find 1 and 2 atomic number 1 hydrogen and helium we know that they belong to they belong to first period only two elements are there after that 3 to 10 second period 11 to 18 third period 19 to 36 fourth period 37 to 54 fifth period 55 to 86 sixth period 87 to 118 seventh period no need to confuse already i told you before going to uh, your board exam or competitive examination generally for 11th there is no board exam for competitive examination you see 2 10 18 36 54 86 1 1 8 all these are atomic numbers of noble gases because every period ends with noble gas so no need to confuse here 
but only you see after noble gas you know two is the atomic number of noble gas so next next period starts with three 10 it ends with 10 means next period starts with 11 and you know the atomic number of next noble gas 18 next you take 19 after 18 19 is there 19 to next noble gas 36 so every period you see ends with noble gas configuration and starts with post noble gas configuration that is alkali limit so it means if you know atomic numbers of noble gases you can easily know these numbers as well because these atomic numbers are next to noble gas atomic number okay so this is very easy and uh, sixth period is in fact the longest period and group number three is the largest uh, group in the periodic table because you know all f block elements lanthanum actinium uh, scandium yttrium total four from d block and 14 plus 14 28 from f block 32 elements belong to group number three that is the largest group and 32 elements sixth period is the longest period in the periodic table so on the basis of given information you can calculate group number and period number okay so thank you for watching my video